welcome. I am Raziel, and today's well, it's the end of a week's roundup of the war gaming. Well, it's been a quite a busy week, hasn't it? It's been very busy with what we've had. We've had quite a few new things. Uh, Games Workshop upon the Warhammer community website have been Cities of Sigma has been the big focus this week, with many new models being shown off. And of course, that means they are actually pretty well. They are pretty good, to be honest with you. And today was no different. We had the three guild knights. I actually quite like these, especially because their arms are suspiciously quite close to their bodies, meaning that they may be able to be used on square bases, which of well rectangle bases, which means will these be capable and compatible with? A uh, Warhammer of the Old World because they are very much the old style free, uh, you know, Empire Knights. They got the same look and they have all the same shiny, shiny, shiny. But with their arms being very close to their bodies, and yeah, you can kind of see that the base actually further extends from them, does kind of give the impression that these could be used for those models, for those bases, and therefore for Age of Sig oh, oh, Warhammer of the Old World. I do apologize. <coughs> Anyway, so, and we've got, what else we got today? <coughs> With that, we've got some new, like, lords and heroes, of course. So, this week has all been about the Cities of Sigma. Got the new Free Guild Marshal. We've had a nice big one on the Griffin with his him getting new rules. So, now we get the other guys as well. Yeah, so we look pretty cool. Uh, there's a, an apothecary kind of guy, which is a Sawbones. He looks kind of silly. Yeah, he does look silly. And, you know, he can and any unit wholly within 12 inches of this model can be healed up to D3 wounds. So he is basically the apothecary. you got spies. Yeah, I, I prefer the old type of assassins, to be honest with you. If you do so, they can disrupt commands and stuff. So, yeah, so you've got some great new models for this Cities of Sigma. Which is pretty much what it is to expect this week, because it's all been about Cities of Sigma, including the Talia Vedra, the blazing heart upon his, but upon her, you know, creature, her chimera. So yeah, I mean, it's what we expect. It's, it is going to be all, all this week, and we are hopefully going to get the book will be announced soon, and you know, the Vanguard box, which we know has coming about. Which, by the way, reminds me, I was meant to say, the Vanguard box for Cities of Sigma is actually really good, and it's something I would compare to be a good Vanguard box. As, you know, where I dragged on the Seraphon one because of the same reason, it's a very bad box. But when you compare it to the two, and you, I know there's an argument, oh, you know, they are two different armies, but they're in the same game, and the Vanguard box is meant to be culpable for both. So, definitely worth looking into if you're looking into getting Cities of Sigma. For your Age of Sigma army, they look good. They're quite, or they're very artistic, and you know they're quite, they're very flourishing. It's nice, big, brave, and bold, and heroic stances, and everything else that Age of Games Workshop does well. But yeah, I gotta say, I think these ones announced today, the uh, knights, it looks like they could fit in the old world. To be honest with you, because their bodies are quite close. Of course, you had Forge World pre-orders and that Forge World harass. Oh God, her Forge Hosey Thursday was an absolute joke, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> just stupid. I didn't like it. Why do something like that? It was a bit daft. Next is Mantic. Now, Mantic have been just shown off their Twilight Kin. Now, Twilight Kin are the Kings of War version of Dark Elves, and they've just announced some new models. And yeah, they look pretty cool. To be honest with you, they have fantastic looking models. I mean, I've got to say, I always prefer Mantic models to 40k. It's just something about them that looks better, in my opinion. Uh, maybe it's because they're more likely to be hand sculpted rather than using digital modeling. And so, you know, little tiny mistakes are picked up, and it, that, those slight imperfections make them look better. I know it's a bit weird to make that statement. But yeah, that's why I think. So basically, with Twilight Kin are coming out, uh, they're coming out in the next few, couple of months, and. Basically, Mantic have said they're going to be showing off more models to do with Twilight Kin, which is kind of exciting, to be honest with you. In the run-up to their release, we'll be re previewing lots of new units and giving you a peek behind the scenes and how we bring them to life. So, yeah, there's going to be showing off some more Twilight Kin. I've got to say, 
they kind of look cool. They look really creepy, like a mix between the Falmer. Yeah, yeah, the Falmer from Skyrim. And some undead and some monsters. They look kind of cool, I've got to say. <clears throat> this is just, I'm just looking at the artwork here for them, not the actual models. But they have shown some models off and they look pretty cool. But this, they do look like proper nasty elves, which I kind of like the look of. Yeah, I've got to say, they got that far more look to them, and that's pretty cool. And finally, my favourite, my darlings, my the best company I think of at the moment is, of course, War Cradle. Now, War Cradle haven't really shown much off this week, but they have done two spoiler alerts. Now, their spoiler alerts are the equivalent to rumour engines. Uh, basically, they kind of hint at what's coming for their games. And, of course, their focus at the moment is Dystopian Wars, because it's doing very well, and uh, with good reason, too. It's a very good game, and there's a lot of great models. I know some people don't like some of the models, they, you know, but I actually think they're really good. They're always well de detailed. They always look unique and stri and very appealing to the setting, which is um, the wild, uh, the late Victorian era, uh, 1860 to uh, 1900, around about that time. And, yeah, they look pretty good. And, well, the things I've seen, these could be the first one, is the Sultanate. Which is kind of really cool because, of course, I did the Lord of Sultanate first thing this week. Uh, it's just completely unrelated. It's just cool that this kind, this coincidence just happens. I love it when life is serendipitous. And the other one people are saying is the Imperium. Not that Imperium. The Imperium of the dystopian age. So, yeah. So, lots of new races and armies being announced this week, which is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So, there you go. We have two fleets being teased by War Cradle. We have a new army from Kings of War, which is a Twilight Kin. And we have the new armies, new Cities of Sigma stuff for King Age of Sigma. It's all been a pretty busy week for Wargaming. And it's been pretty good. And I've got to say, the Twilight Kin look good. And I got, I like, well, I like the Stopian Wars, and I like what they're doing there too. Cities of Sigma won't be my thing. It's not, um, Age of Sigma and Games Workshop, I tend to, with fantasy, I tend to go, it would have been, if they would announced some more Dark Elder stuff, or Dark Elf stuff, I should say, or more Dark, yeah, Dark Elf stuff for uh, Cities of Sigma, I might have perked up a little bit because those are my thing. But I am got to say the Twilight can have really appealed. They look pretty good, and I got like I said, I like the boats. And hopefully it's Sultanate or Imperium. I would really love it to be the Order of the Orshard, by the way. Have their own fleet. I wonder what just get their own fleet too. Just give me those fleets. I would be so happy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good day. This has just been a week roundup of what's been coming out for the, the hobby games. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, links to Wayland Games if you want to save money on your Warhammer and other games. And of course, if you want to play this day when Wars, that's where you can get it first because they make it. Uh, there is Forbidden Planet if you like comics. And there is my merchandising comics as well. And of course, Patreon. But as always, please treat yourself first. It helps the channel either way. And I'd rather you did that than just Goodbye.